topic of this webinar. Lip filler. Lip filler is one of the most popular treatment in aesthetic medicine, but the new trend in this technique are represented by Russian lip technique. Before talking Russian lip, I want to introduce you uh, the product that will be the object of this webinar, uh, our filler, Opera 2 and Opera 3. These are part of a group of a new product that uh, give us the possibility to um, use different products for treat uh, different indication uh, so to obtain a tailored treatment for our, for our patient. These are the filler I was talking about. Uh, opera 1, Opera 2, Opera 3, Opera 4 and Opera 5. Uh, different references for different indications because Opera 1 is studied for fine line, Opera 2 is uh, specific for lip treatment, Opera 3 is a sort of uh, jolly for uh, treating uh, any kind of wrinkles, Opera 4 is uh, useful for uh, reaching a biggest volume in the, in the face, and Opera 5 is a new product for treating uh, body depression. For treating the mouth, the specific products are Opera 2 and Opera 3. Between these two products, Opera 2 uh, is uh, ideal for obtaining a natural look for treating lips. Other indications are for treating forehead aesthetic after uh, Botox, for improving nose aesthetic, and for treating fine nasolabial wrinkles. This product is a present on market in a packaging of 1 ml with its own searing as a concentration of 22 mg per ml and you have a gauge of 27 needle. The duration inside the body is almost four to six months. For obtaining the biggest volume, we can use Opera 3. That is designed for treating uh, all the wrinkles of the face. Uh, so you can treat uh, temples area, you can treat uh, naso nasogenic uh, wrinkles, you can treat marionette line, and of course, you can treat the lips for obtaining a more dramatic look. This filler is present with uh, uh, a searing of 1 ml with a concentration of 24 milligram a needle of 27 gauge and um, reach a duration inside the body of uh, six months. But go back to the topic of this webinar, lip. Nowadays, uh, plump lip are very popular, but why it's uh, so important the lip inside the face? Uh, lips, uh, of course, arouse a sensitivity of um, sensuality and passion. So, bettering lips, uh, Mm, you can better uh, every female face. But talking about um, harmony and geometry, what would be the ideal proportion between upper and lower lip inside the um, female face? Uh, this uh, study published on uh, 2017 uh, in um, California, made by University of California, showed that uh, after uh, different studies, the best uh, geometry is, uh, and the best harmony in the phase is obtained in this case when uh, the studies uh, study, um, reached an enlargement of 50% of the mouth, obtaining a proportion between upper and lower lip of 1.2. This study, in a certain way, uh, contradicts the golden ratio of Phidias, that is the Italian way of treating uh, mouth. Because according to the golden ratio of Phidias, the, the harmony between the parts is given by the ratio of 1 to 1.72. So upper lip ratio to lower lip is 1 to 1.72. So, how can we improve face and lip harmony? Of course, treating all the volume of the mouth inside, inside the face 
e treating the proportion between upper and lower lip. How can we do it? Doing lip filler. As you know, lip filler is one of the most important, most popular procedure inside the aesthetic medicine. It permits us to give uh, changes in the face, uh, giving uh, volume, uh, filling wrinkles, or uh, modifying and uh, shaping the, the contour of the lips. Obtaining a natural look or a dramatic one according to patient request. You can treat all the part of the mouth you can uh, better Cupid bow, you can uh, better the vermilion, the border of the lip, bettering, of course, uh, uh, the barcode. You can improve and increase the volume of the tuberculosis. How can we do it? Using classic technique. And you know that classic technique are a simple linear injection with retrograde extrusion of the hyaluronic acid up to obtain the desired geometry, the desired profile of the mouth. But the most uh, popular, the most newest trend are the Russian technique. Uh, in these uh, pictures, uh, you, can say that, uh, you can see that the injection technique is completely different be between the classical one because the injection are made along the entire edge of the vermilion going perpendicularly to the um, long axis of uh, the um, lip. Generally, uh, you have to do multiple injection in, um, in order to better, in, in order to obtain uh, an improving in a Cupid's bow in the field room and in the um, volume of the lips without uh, enlarge too much in a sagittal view. For showing this, I'm going to show some photos, some pictures. In this photo, you can see one of the most beautiful results in Russian, using Russian technique. In uh, this uh, new picture, you can see uh, the results of a Russian technique in a front uh, point of view. And in the last, uh, you can see in a sagittal view, approaching so the natural look of this technique. But um, stop talking and let's start with the live session. Uh, now we have a, a little pause just for preparing our patients. Uh, almost five minutes. So see you soon.